Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert numbers that have the negative sign uh, to the right of a number and convert it into something where it can be readable to Excel where you have the negative onto the left and so it appears more normal. Some software applications may output files but that have numbers that are negative but show the negative sign on the right side instead of on the left side. And I'm going to show you an example of how you can change that to convert the negative symbol to appear over to the left. So let's say for example you get a file with a bunch of numbers and the negative numbers appear like this and then you have our regular positive numbers uh, appear like this as in um, A2 to A3. The way that Excel sees numbers is it aligns number values to the right and text values to the left. So even this 300 with a dash is a negative number, or we want it to be a negative number, negative 300. The way Excel sees it is as text. So we want to convert to this from a 300 dash to a dash 300, which would represent negative. Let's show you how to do that. And we also want to have the same formula not do anything to this 100. So this is how we would do it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to move that negative sign over to the left. To do that, we can use two functions. One is the right function, the other one is the trim function. What the trim function does, it removes any spaces uh, from the beginning or to the end of our, our, our values, whether it be numbers or text. So it's going to move any uh, trailing, leading spaces or trailing spaces. And the right function, what it's going to do is it's going to take the character to the right. So it's going to count, if it says right one, it's going to take the first character to the right, right two, it'll take the, it'll take the two characters from the right. So this is how we're going to write it out. So I'm going to type equal and we do trim, open parentheses, and we're going to want to trim the value in that cell. So as I said before, what the trim function does, is it removes the leading and trailing spaces. And what I want to do after that, or I want to en encapsulate that into a function called the write function. So the write function I'm going to write, put right here and open parentheses. So it's going to take that text that got trimmed, the 300 dash, and what I want to do is I want to take the character one. I want to take one character. It's going to count, it's going to count one space from the right and it's going to take that character which is it, going to be that dash. So it's going to take that dash and I'm going to go ahead and close in parentheses and it's going to just bring, if I press enter, you'll see that the dash shows up now. So what I want to do is I want to have that dash show up onto the left side of the number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the, I'm use the ampersand, which is basically a join function. So I'm going to join it with this number. So I'm going to join it back to this number. So it's going to say dash 300 dash. So if I press enter, you'll see that now that is what happened. So now what I want to do is I want to put this into an if statement. So I want to say that if it sees this number and it sees it with a negative symbol or a dash symbol perform some functions where it's going to put the dash in the front and if it doesn't see a neg it doesn't see a dash then just leave it be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right in the front here and I'm gonna type an if statement and basically I'm gonna use this whole thing again the the right and the trim so I'm just gonna write it over again if, if right open parentheses trim open parentheses that trim a2 and now it's gonna trim the Trailing, leading and trailing spaces away, if there are any. And what's going to do, I'm going to take, now, now I'm back into the right function since I closed the parentheses here and added the um, comma here. And I'm, it'll take the first character now, right? So what's going to do, like that right and trim function, it's going to look for that minus sign, right? So what I want to do now, if I want to say that if that equals, if it finds that, that equals a dash. So it's going to bring back that dash and it says, if it finds that dash, then perform this particular function again. So perform this right, this right trim and then this A2 which basically does a dash on the 300 and then a dash after 300. So it's going to do that. Now if it doesn't find a dash, what I want to do is just bring back that number. So that's going to be in the case where if it doesn't find a dash, if this was just a 300, it'll bring back 300. So I'll go ahead and close parentheses and press enter and you'll notice that now it picked that up. So if I double click this fill handle, you'll see that it picked up the numbers that didn't have a negative correctly. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and create put this put this function or put this formula into a, another function that says when I find that second dash I want to go ahead and remove it. So that's going to be a substitute command. So I'm going to go ahead and go right up here in the beginning again and type substitute and I, it click, I found it here so I'm going to go ahead and click double click that and when it's going to look in this the output of this formula 
what I want to do is I want to say, okay, if I see a dash, if I'm going to substitute that dash, and then I'm going to go ahead and substitute that dash with nothing. So basically nothing is quotes, double quotes, double quotes. There's nothing in between the quotes. This one, this first one had a dash. So if I find that dash, then I want to substitute nothing. And the, the way that I'll find the second dash is I'm going to look for, I'm just writing the number two. So it's going to look for the second dash. That's the instance number here. That'll be the second dash. So I'll press, I'll go ahead and close parentheses, press enter, and you, now you've noticed that that dash has disappeared. Let me go ahead and click here and double click the fill handle to copy that formula down. Now you notice that, if I mentioned before, the way Excel sees numbers, it, it lines them to the right. Now it sees text and it lines it to the left. Now if you wanted to perform any kind of numeric calculations like multiply, subtract, whatever, it will not do that because it looks at these numbers and thinks they're text. So what we want to do is we want to convert these values from text to numbers so it, they would align over to the right. So what we do is we just perform a mathematical uh, calculation on it. We can either multiply it by 1 or we can just add 0. So I'm going to go ahead and just multiply it by 1. Let me go, oh, let me hit escape. Let me just go to the top one here and do it. So I'll go ahead and multiply this by 1 and press control enter to save that cell and you notice once I've done that it has converted this value into a number since, since it's aligned to the right. So I'll go ahead and double click the fill handle down here to copy the formula back down and you notice now everything is aligned nicely to the right so Excel sees this as numbers. Let me go ahead and go through this formula now. You might be a little bit complex but let me go ahead and go through the formula with the formula evaluator so you can see how Excel is calculating that. To go through the formula evaluator, you can go under the tab here and go click on the evaluate formula. It will bring up this window, or you can just press the keyboard shortcut Alt T U F, and that will bring up this evaluate formula function or this evaluate formula feature. So if I go ahead and evaluate the formula, it's going to go step by step and to see how Excel is calculating out the different functions here. So you notice that it underlined A2, so it's going to begin with that first. So go ahead and click evaluate it's going to look and find that that, tr that value there in A2 is 300 dash. So it's going to take the trim function and remove any trailing or leading, leading or trailing spaces and it bring back that 300. Now this right function is going to bring back the first character coming from the right, which is that dash. So if I click evaluate, you'll see that, that there da there's a dash there now. Now it's going to go into the if function. So the if function is going to look at that dash and say, does it equal that? Does it equal? Does that dash that got output it equal dash? If that's true, perform this one. If it's false, perform this one. So if I click evaluate, it will say true. So true is going to bring back this thing, this uh, statement here, this right and trim. You see, it ends with the comma here. So if I click evaluate it's going to say true, right, and so it's going to start performing the function here. So it's going to do that trim, that trim function again, and it's going to bring back that 300 dash. It's going to go from the right to, and it's going to bring back the first character there, which is that dash. Go ahead and click evaluate again, and you'll see that there. So it's going to say, okay, that dash, I want to add it to A2. So there's going to be a dash with 300 dash. So you, if I click evaluate, you're going to see it shows the dash and this ampersand is a join so it's going to join that dash with 300 so it's going to be dash 300 dash click evaluate and now you see that it shows up there so now it's going to go ahead and f it's finished that if statement it's going to go to the substitute statement if I click evaluate here it's going to bring back th dash 300 dash and it's going to substitute the dash the second instance of a dash with nothing right so it's going to find the dash it's going to substitute it with nothing. These are these double quotes that don't have anything in between. And it's going to look for the second instance of it. So if I click evaluate, you'll see now it has that minus or that dash 300. And that dash 300 in and of itself, Excel will see that as text and align it to the left. So you can't really perform any calculation on that. And that's why we have this. Uh, multiply by one and what it does is it's going to turn it into a number and it's going to align it to the right now. So if I click evaluate you'll see now it has negative 300 and it has finished the calculation. So I'll go ahead and close this and that's basically how you would do it. That's how you would take and convert numbers that have the negative sign on the right side of a number and move it over to the left so you can perform mathematical functions on there. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.